I want to share with you a brand new way for getting video clients and this is completely a free resource for landing clients and you could implement this right now so I'm not going to do any fancy editing the editor is not going to touch this I'm going to just show you a simple screen capture here showing you exactly how to find leads and land these clients again for video production it's going to be very step by step and it's going to be very tactical so hopefully you could follow along now typically a lot of people don't even watch the video halfway through but this is going to be one of those videos if you're ever going to spend time watching a video all the way through this is one of those so I could show you all the different steps here in this walkthrough okay the very first thing I want you to do is go to this website apollo.io I'll try to link it in the description too and go ahead and sign up for free now they have an always free plan so if you go under the pricing tab I could basically show you this option right here this is the free option it's not a free trial it's actually free to use they do have paid options that just gives you a whole lot more so this helps you with cold calling for example so you could actually get 900 phone number credits in this case we're not going to do any cold calling so we're going to just use this free plan go ahead and sign up go through the sign up process pretty straightforward there okay once you log in and sign up for your accounts go ahead and go to the search tab and there's a people tab and a companies tab so if you go under people you'll see that there's 275 million people and if you go to the companies tab this also has 63 million people so typically I use something called LinkedIn sales navigator to do something like this but this is free it's a little bit more limited on your outreach to these people but I'm going to show you exactly how to find the ideal lead for you depending on where you're at with your journey with your career and then we're going to go ahead and message them okay so this is how this works I'm going to go to the people tab and I want you to do the, the, the same thing so pause the video if you haven't signed up sign in and this is what we're going to do we're going to go under location first and then type in your city so whatever city you're in I'm in Chicago here and I want to do greater Chicago area so that gives me a little bit more beyond the city I could also do my whole state for example I'm willing to travel now where I'm at in my career I a lot of times choose the US as a base right so that gives me a lot more people to target and then when I send a price quote when I get to that point of the process I make sure travel is included because we could do production anywhere you only add a few thousand dollars typically for travel and labor costs associated with travel so that's no problem when you start to land ten thousand thirty thousand dollar type projects now that limited me now to 1.5 million people obviously too broad okay so the big picture here is finding the ideal people that will hire us to make videos and we're going to narrow it down step by step so now that we have the location the next step is I typically go to industry now if this is your first time watching any of my videos you haven't heard this before but typically when you want to land any type of clients this works across any industry any profession but in video production specifically you have to narrow down to the type of people that could use video services and then that way you could refine your message you don't want to just go after small businesses or companies right you saw there's like 60 million companies I'm not going to go and just send a generic message to all those people over the rest of my life right I'm going to narrow it down and I'm going to send a specific message industry click here and you'll see all these different industries so which one do you pick which one is going to have the right type of clients well I could tell you all of them are going to have companies in the right size that could afford more high-end videos and if you're starting out I'm going to show you how to do that too but typically what I recommend people to pick here under industries is something that you have some kind of background in maybe your parents are civil engineers right so you know what kind of companies they work for you'll understand what kind of work goes into it I don't know anything about civil engineering so unless I want to take the time to research it to be able to craft an email that specifically talks to that type of a company I'm going to go ahead and skip it and I've mentioned this before but a lot of times some of the easiest options are law like legal law practice so if I choose law practice there's 30,000 and you could do more than just one term so I'm going to type in legal so legal services is going to increase that number now 38,000 so that's kind of your broad industry right so I pick my region I pick that broad industry that when a service is reduced my leads or prospects to 38,000 that's, that's still a lot right it's going to take me a long time 
I want to really tailor that to the right type of people. Okay, so if you look over here, basically it's showing you names. This is kind of scraping LinkedIn, by the way. So that's how it's finding similar numbers of people. LinkedIn Sales Navigator is again, the same type of product, but it's more expensive. Actually, they don't have a free option at all with Sales Navigator. Then it's showing you titles, company, and so on. So the third step in the process, now that I have the two, is I need to actually find the decision makers in that company that could make decisions to hire a vendor. We are going to be the video production company, the videographer, whatever you want to call yourself. We're going to go create videos for them. So the right people we need to reach, they have to be the decision makers. So that's typically under job title. And I usually pick someone that could make the hiring decision. Now, again, this is going to depend on what kind of company you're going after. In this case, I chose law firms because I know in law firms, partners, once you make a partner, you're typically the decision maker and there's managing partners too. And that's typically one person that runs the entire law firm. But usually partners in a law firm will be able to make decision or you could type in owner and all kinds of different terms depending on the industry you're going after. If I just type in partner, I got 6,900 people. Now I even narrow it down typically to under a thousand. So I have a very trackable list of people that I could email and pitch them my service, but that does narrow it down. You get the idea on how this is going to narrow down. Now, if you don't know what job titles to go after, they have a really cool AI tool on their persona. So if you go there, create a persona with AI. Here, it pulls things from your website, right? So it just pulled my video production company so I could confirm and it scans basically the company description. I think I set this up in the setup process or pulled it from my website. So it says your ideal persona, the people that are your target audience, this is not telling me the industry, that's my decision. I chose an industry I know something about or I'm willing to research enough to understand the pain point. So for example, lawyers, you know what problem they always, almost always have? Any size law firm, they have a hard time getting new clients, prospecting, right? So marketing usually helps them do that. Well, video is the best marketing tool there is. I know I could communicate that pain point with them. Again, with a little bit of research, I figured that out, but that's true for a lot of different industries. So marketing manager, CEO, training coordinator. So I can make training videos. We make a lot of training videos actually, but marketing is kind of our bread and butter here. So in the case of law firm, they typically don't have marketing manager unless they're large. So I had to make that choice manually, but it gave me some drop down options too. So you could go ahead and choose these personas. If you go after just about any company, CEO is a good title unless you get too big. Some of my clients, like when the company is over a thousand employees, the CEO had nothing to do with my hiring decision. Even though we may film with the CEO in some of our videos, I've definitely never talked to the CEO before the day of the shoot. In this case, I'm not going to use these right now. I've already done my research to know what I want to do. And I already picked the job title over here. So that's really the three things. But the other one I really like, this really depends on where you are at. But if you go under employee headcount, if you're brand new to this and you don't have any samples, just choose one to 10. If you go after like a one person law practice, you could do a free demo. So you have something to show the people at the one to 10 range or the 11 to 20 range. So I use this technique. I think the first law firm I had as a client had five lawyers. And then I went all the way to one that had over a thousand lawyers. And as you can see, there are firms that have over 10,000 lawyers or 10,000 employees. So this is like a leveling up. Where are you at? Have you done videos before? Do you know how to make good videos? That has to be the first step. If you don't know how to do that, you should partner with someone that knows how to do that better than you. If you're not really proud of where you're at still and you're still learning and that's okay. A lot of the best production companies I know, the guy that runs the place or the girl that runs the place, they actually have never shot videos before. They're not cinematographers or directors. They partner with people like us that do the technical side for them. So there's ways to around that too. But let's say you pick someone, you could see that's 385 different individual decision makers with companies that have over 11 employees. You know what 11 employees tells me? It usually tells me they're doing more than a million dollars in revenue. So spending three to $10,000 for a marketing video or marketing video bundle is within the range. 
And as you go higher, that's when your price point could increase. But your quality and your offer has to increase too. And it's not just about quality. You have to communicate what offer you give to them. So someone at a law firm would be like, oh, okay, this is great. I don't know what TikTok ads are or YouTube ads are, but I love to try it. And these guys make me those ads. We're not going to run the ads for them, but we're going to make the creative for the ads for them and then show them how to partner with an agency to run those ads for them, okay? So you need to figure all that out and communicate that, but that's a different video about putting that uh, package or that offer together. Right now, let's say I'm kind of in the middle. I want clients that pay more than 3,000, so I'm gonna skip the one to 10, and I'm gonna go all the way to 100. There we go, 1.6, right? That's 1,600 individual people with a title of partner in the niche I selected, which in this case is the legal law firm type niche, in my area. Now, I'm not going to email just 1,600 people and go about my day, right? This is a very methodical process now. The narrower your list, the more focused you want to be with your messaging, the more personalized you want to be with your messaging, the more you want to take your time. If you're going after small businesses, then you could just do the whole broad method of just saying the same message to a bunch of people and play the numbers game. I don't like to do that. I wanna land $10,000 type projects and above, so I'm gonna fine tune my message. I might click on this link here. So this law firm, I'm gonna click on their Facebook, on their LinkedIn, on this takes you directly to their website. I'm gonna see what they're about. Do they have a video ready? Can I improve that? I'm going to take my time, right? I might spend two hours a day just prospecting, doing this, but now I have a very clear list of 1,600 people that could be my target. Now, let me show you. I, I could just select, actually, let me select all, all 25 people on this page. I'm going to select these 25 people. This is one of the limitations of the free plan. It actually doesn't let you select more than that. So if you want to select all 1,600, you can't do that. And it has a limitation on what you could export. Now, if I press email, look what happens. It puts all these people in the two line, right? It's going to email all these people, but you could actually send the email separately. So it's not going to send a bulk email. If you really want this to have a much better conversion, you could actually do this one at a time right inside of this app. Now, this actually connected to my actual email address. So you need to sign up for a Google account and get the paid version of that. I think it's five bucks a month. And I recommend you don't do this. If you've never done email marketing and you don't want to risk anything, just Sign up for a different email address with Google and use that. But this is a really safe product I've built, this Apollo. It warms up your emails so your emails won't go to junk. It actually limits you very severely in the beginning. I think you can only send six emails per hour. But that's okay, right? That's still 60 people during the business hours you could contact as long as your message is good, okay? Then they have this other option too. Let me exit out of here. This is my favorite sequence, add to sequence. So let me show you what these sequences are. I'm gonna go up here to engage and go to sequence. And sequences are basically exactly what they sound like. They're a sequence of emails. They're not a one-time email. In every time I've done cold email marketing with any business, the third email always gets the best results. I usually make the third one the last one. And when people ask me, well, what should I say? Well, check this out, create a sequence with AI. I'm gonna click this. And this is what this is gonna do for us. It's gonna say, review your company information. So here's our company name, pain point, value proposition, call to action. That's all it needs to know for it to go and use AI to generate content with us or for us. It says, list at least three pain points your product is solving. Now it looks like it just pulled a couple of sentences here from my website, which are not the exact pain point. These are very broad, right? If I was getting just regular small businesses, maybe I'll do that struggling to connect with your audience well use captivating video to engage your audience not great right this is not going to do very well if i just generate the content this is the prompting stage of this by the way to generate this content so i'm going to add three pain points here and then you could copy something similar to that depending on what industry you're going after this part has to be industry specific okay so i added three different points for each one so this one is we need to make law firms stand out. So typically this is a very crowded marketplace I'm going after. This is the problem law firms have. In fact, if they're doing things like Google Ads, for example, I know they're spending a ridiculous amount of money to land a client. So each click could cost them $50, $60 in this whole legal niche. 
Then the second point is trust and showing that they're the expert. Imagine you're hiring a lawyer, right? Well, what do you want? Well, you want them to stand out in the crowd. So they need to be somewhat different, somewhat better. And they need to be trustworthy. And the same one is they need to simplify what they do, right? A lot of legal terms could be confusing. This is specific to law firms, the three pain points that all law firms have. So you'll do your research. I used a platform, let me just show you. I use this website here, perplexity.ai. This helps you really do in-depth market research and it uses web data. So it's actually using ChatGPT in the background or Claude 2 sometimes in the background, just different large language model AIs. We don't have to worry about that part, but it actually does a really good job pulling from the web in a way that's very easy to understand. So I typically ask my researching through these type of AIs and I put them over here. So I did the same thing. What's my value proposition? Well, we craft compelling stories. So our marketing videos are very story driven to tell the story of a law firm. And again, you could refine this on your own and I could generate the content from here. Call to action. What do we want them to do? Well, we want a meeting. You could offer a free value like 50 minute consultation meeting generate. Okay, then it's gonna give us three different emails and they're gonna be stylized. They're not gonna be formatted really well, so you need to go ahead and just format it the way you want them to be formatted. And then here's a follow-up four days later, and here's the last pitch. This AI is okay, but I usually you know, use ChatGPT or something to craft these messages on my own from what I know. So I usually draft the first one by hand, and then I ask ChatGPT for feedback but this is one way to go about it as well and refine it within that. And then you could save and activate the sequence and it's gonna warm up your email through time. So at first it's gonna be a little bit slow. Don't ever sign up for any type of email marketing and send a thousand emails or a hundred emails on the first day. If you use LinkedIn, I teach LinkedIn as well. And usually you have a limit of 20 people maximum that you should try to connect with if you wanna do it that way. LinkedIn does have better conversion than something like this just because it's a little bit warmer and you could actually quickly dive into the people and learn more about them from their profile. This takes a little bit less personalization, but you have, again, the cold email sequence here that you could work with. This is called cold email marketing, one of the best ways to land clients without ever making a phone call. And then once you do that, you basically go through your list every single day, or if you wanna just dedicate maybe some time in the weekend to catch up with the week, if you're busy maybe doing projects in the middle of the week, Go ahead and make some time, but always have time on your calendar. Go through this process. And then when you get any responses, then you get them on the phone and then you have to sell them a value. If you're brand new, the value is you're just trying to get them to give you a free project. Hey, I need four hours of your time. This is the value I'm gonna provide. And I'm only doing this in exchange because I'm looking for samples for my website. I'm going after law firms or something like that. Then that lands you a client, your first one as a free demo. That's your marketing expense. That is not free work. Don't think of it that way. Think of it as a marketing expense for you to have something. Now there's a bunch more to it if you wanna really optimize this. So typically you would need to build a landing page so in the email they have somewhere to go if they wanna learn more, not just what's in the email. But you don't need that to get started. That's just gonna optimize your numbers. You're gonna get more people to call. You're gonna get more opt-ins. You're gonna get more sales calls and you're gonna get more clients. But if you're just trying to get one, two clients, you could just do this till you do. If it doesn't work for one industry, jump into another. So this should give you a big picture overview. And I have a training on my website too. It's about an hour long. That one's free too. I have a paid course, but that's not what I'm talking about. The one in the webinar basically walks you through the different steps that you need to know in order. There's about seven steps if you really want to optimize it. If you don't have time for that, just do, do what I'm showing you in this video. This should land you a client if you do enough of them. To optimize it for better conversion, you may need some of the other things that I talk about through the webinar, okay? So hopefully this is one of those videos where it showed you how to take action very step-by-step. -step. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see more videos like this one, and I'll catch you next time.